Hi Virgo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your love reading and this is for the time period April 15th through the end of the month here or you know any time close to that. It could be happening now actually because or later on maybe because that is just the way the energies work and um, I hope you guys are all well here. Before we begin um, I would just like to say thank you to all the people who like, shared, subscribed commented and bought readings okay you guys and um, don't forget your moon and your rising and also your Venus especially for love readings right you can get those over at cafeastrology.com if you guys are you know unaware of those uh, zodiac signs uh, within your chart okay and um, so let's get started this is going to be your love reading what are their true intentions in love with you okay And the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant, Virgo, and the King of Cups in the reverse, okay? So clearly, I feel like this is, you know, this could already, this is a love reading, but um, could be, you know, further confirmed by the Hierophant. You could be uh, in a long-term relationship uh, or marriage, and somebody could be, you know, really behaving poorly, okay, with the King of Cups in the reverse, uh, there could be a water sign that you're dealing with, uh, maybe who is at a disadvantage because of, you know, uh, maybe fighting or because maybe the union is not working out. Let's see, though. The King of Cups in the reverse can be a liar or a manipulator, okay? So, um, yeah. So let's see, though, as we get in, okay? Your current energy uh, right now, Virgo, is the Knight of Pentacles. This makes all the sense, right? Your past energy is the Empress. How you see your person is the Ace of Wands. Um, their energy is the Queen of Cups here, okay? Could be dealing with a water sign, right? Uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I think I just saw Virgo. Uh, I think I just saw you in Pisces reading here. Um, and uh, right here is the Three of Pentacles is your, is your person's past energy. They're seeing you as the Magician. The past situation is the Sun. The current situation is the Five of Wands. The challenge is the world. What they're hiding is the death card. And what they are afraid of here, uh, or their hopes and fears, actually, is the Seven of Cups and their outcome, or your outcome with them, okay? is This is really your outcome, yeah, with them. Um, it is the Seven of Wands, okay? Um, yeah, so let's get into the reading, you guys. Why, is, why does Virgo have the Knight of Pentacles, please? Why does Virgo have the Knight of Pentacles? And you have the Seven of Pentacles here. I feel like you're taking a really good hard look at something, Virgo, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles. It is the card of waiting to make a decision, usually, or really assessing something closely, okay? Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo. And we have the Three of Wands in the reverse, okay? So there could be some stagnate, stagnancy, like uh, delays or like, uh, you know, no movement, nothing going on, just kind of like, you know, stagnancy. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, probably because you are waiting and making a decision here, right, with the Seven of Pentacles here, okay? Put this card up here. <laughs> and here's the Seven of Pentacles here. Now, you know, your current, your past energy, rather, is the Empress here. Let's see why, Virgo, you have the Empress in your past energy, please. And the Page of Swords is here. You could have had an Empress and you were spying on them. That's, that could be the case. I think you were thinking, though, in the past, you were thinking about an Empress, okay? And there could be Libra or Taurian energy here, but... The Empress can also be a mistress. It is the number three, okay? Male or female. Clarify the Page of Swords for Virgo, please. Why is the Page of Swords there for Virgo? You could have been defensive about this person, right? The Page of Swords is the defensive, uh, you know, the defensive uh, page. You have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Pisces just had this card, too. I feel like in the past, you maybe you wanted an Empress to come back to you. Maybe they moved on here. Yeah. And maybe you were thinking that you wanted them to come back. Let's get one more card on that Eight of Cups in the reverse. This means an interesting card. Why is the Eight of Cups there in the reverse for Virgo? And we have the Eight of Pentacles here, okay? 
You know, this talks about putting the work in, right? Making the effort here. Wow. It's possible, you know, in the past, your recent past energy, Virgo, you were thinking about an empress, maybe returning and putting the work in with her. Yeah, you could have been, like, putting the effort in with her. Your current energy has the three of wands in the reverse. This can be many things. Um, you know, this could also be uh, on top of what, you know, I mentioned earlier, this is, you know, sometimes this is stagnancy. This can also be a third party ending. Yeah, you could be, yeah, you could be, you know, really looking, taking a close look at the situation where a third party end, ended. The Ace of Wands is how, see, how you see your person. Okay, the King of Wands wanted to pop right out here, okay? So let's see why you, you know, are seeing your person as the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Wow. Why does uh, Virgo see their person as the King of Wands, please? The Five of Pentacles in the reverse here. Okay. Um, you know, somebody could be coming out of the cold here. Maybe. Wow. I feel like you're seeing, you know, your person as, yeah... You know, you could be seeing your person, you could be dealing with a fire sign, but you could also just be, you know, seeing your person here as coming out of the cold and possibly having an opportunity, a passionate new opportunity with you. Clarify the five of pentacles in the reverse. Why is the five of pentacles in the reverse, please? It can have to do with a fire sign, right? I feel like you're dealing with a water sign, though. This is their current energy, the person you're dealing with. Okay, the Seven of Swords is here, Virgo. I feel like that's been showing up in all your readings, all right? <laughs> this can be somebody trying to get away with something, you know, sneaky here. Hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like you are seeing... You're seeing your, your person as, you know, maybe trying to come in from out of the cold here. I feel like this is this could be you, though. You could be trying to come in from out of the cold here and have a new opportunity, possibly with the fire sign. That could be the case here. Um, let's see here as we go. Yeah, definitely. Okay, the Queen of Cups is their current energy. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Wow. Yeah, I feel like, you know, I feel like you want somebody to come back here. That's your past energy. And somebody is trying to, maybe you want somebody to come out of the cold here. Maybe this person that walked away, possibly. Why is the, why is Virgo's person the Queen of Cups? Clarify the Queen of Cups for Virgo, please. The Ace of Pentacles, okay, you could be dealing with somebody, a water sign, and there is, you know, maybe, maybe there, she is, uh, you know, he or she is enjoying some type of uh, financial breakthrough, possibly, right? The Ace of Pentacles, this can also be about stability, a home, and money. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo's person. Let's see why that's there. Okay, the Knight of Cups, Wow. So, interesting, you could, you know, this is their energy, so they could be offering you love here, and they could, or, you know, you could maybe be offering them love, that could be the case here, wow. Okay, their, their past energy is the three of pentacles here, it's possible you want this person to come in out of the cold here. But it's just kind of, it's strange here, because the three of wands is here, the empress... I feel like there definitely was an ending already, yeah, because of the Eight of Cups, somebody left, and the Five of Pentacles it talks about endings as well, right? Somebody's been left out in the cold here. Um, you could be seeing, your person could be offering you love in their current energy. Clarify this Three of Pentacles, whoever you're with, clarify, or their past energy. Why is the Three of Pentacles there? The star card, okay, they could have been healing possibly from a third party, yeah, I mean, that could be the case here. There are cards that can talk about a third party here. Um, they could also, you know, their recent past energy, they could have had a lot of hope to make things work out between you guys. 
Clarify the star for Virgo's person. Why is that star there, please? The Ten of Wands is here. So yeah, I feel like in their past energy, um, I feel like they were healing from a third party and it was a burden for them, this third party. I really feel like that, okay? Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. They could have also, you know, wanted maybe to work on things with you. And maybe maybe you are, you know, maybe you are their star here. But I feel like this is more of what I was saying earlier. Because there's already endings here, as I mentioned a minute ago. Clarify the, why is the, what is this burden for, Virgo's person? Why is the Ten of Wands there, please? The Strength card. Okay, so they were trying to be definitely strong here. And they were doing all the work or carrying a burden here. I do feel like it has to do... Um, you know, they could have also hoped that you were going to work on things with them. That could be the case, right? Clarify the magician. Why do they see Virgo as the magician? Why do they see Virgo as the magician? The high priestess is here. They could be seeing you maybe as, you know, uh, you know, somebody who can manifest just whatever they want here, right? Somebody with all the tools, maybe somebody who has a secret, that could be the case. But this high priestess could also be them. The high priestess can be, ooh, sorry, Scorpio or, um, or Pisces. They could be seeing, you know, let's see. Clarify this high priestess. Why does Pisces person see Virgo? I mean, I'm sorry, why does Virgo's person see them? <laughs> as the High Priestess. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Wow. So, um, they could be seeing you as, you know, they could be seeing you as having change in your life, right? Manifesting change in your life, possibly with a secret here. Um, but I'm going to get one more card. They could be seeing you as dealing with a Sagittarian. They could. We have the King of Wands over here. Um, and the King of Wands was showing up in Pisces reading to clarify this Wheel of Fortune. Why does Virgo's person see Virgo as the Wheel of Fortune? They could be seeing you as somebody who, you know, who has a fortune, right? That could be the case here. This is not usually about money, though, the Wheel of Fortune. It's more about life and turning the wheel, you know, for change in life. Um, and faded events here, okay? So they are seeing you maybe as, you know, and maybe in some type of a karmic uh, cycle with them, all right? Um, that could be the case here. The Two of Cups is here. I feel like they are seeing you as their soulmate, you know. Let's see as we go on with the reading because I feel like there are, yeah, more than two people here. Or there was at one point or something like that. Clarify the sun. Why is the sun the past situation with Virgo and their person? Could be a Leo here with the strength and the sun card for some of you guys. All right. So the past situation. I feel like there was love and happiness in the past. Wow. Let's clarify that king of cups though. Because that can be a water sign. Clarify the king of cups in the past situation with Virgo and their person. Okay. The eight of wands. So to me, um, you know, in the past here, there was a lot of change here, okay? I feel like, you know, the situation could have been illuminated here, right? There could have been, you know, um, like some light shed, everything out in the open in the past here, okay? About change maybe here. There could also have been some fast news coming in. Why is that Eight of Wands there, please? Clarify the Eight of Wands for... Virgo. The hangman is here. So I feel like this is Pisces here underneath the King of Cups here. I feel like there was happiness in the past. Yeah, I feel like there was happiness. And um, for many of you guys dealing with the water sign here, or Pisces most likely. Um, yeah, there could have been change though. All right. Yeah, there could have also been fast news here that illuminated a situation. That could be the case here, okay? I also think that somebody was really trying to enlighten themselves in the situation here, all right? And possibly sacrifice for change. 
Let's get one card here. Let's switch decks here. Now, the Five of Wands is the current situation, right? The Five of Wands is like a challenge or more like a struggle, okay? It can also be um, competition, too many people in the picture. Clarify this Five of Wands for Virgo. Why is the Five of Wands there for Virgo and their person? The Ten of Wands is here. Yeah, I feel like the current situation, there's a burden here. There's too many people involved here. Yeah. See, this is what I'm, I mean here. There could also be fighting here, right? But I'm seeing like the King and the Queen of Cups are here. The King of Wands is here already. Um, and the also the Knight of Cups is here. That can be somebody offering love, right? Let's see here. Um, why is the Ten of Wands? I feel like the current situation is that there's fighting and it's, it's, it's burdening, you know, your union. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Virgo and their person. So we have the Queen of Swords here, okay? And, you know, there could be air energy here, right? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. I feel like somebody, you know, right now in the current, you know, currently, somebody is... Asking for answers, you know, the Queen of Swords uh, raises her sword to, like, investigate or to kind of interrogate, right? She's already been through a lot of grief herself, uh, and she cuts things out that don't serve her, okay? I really feel like right now somebody, it's a burden here, maybe because somebody's doing this to you, Virgo, uh, demanding honesty or answers here because of other people. It's become a burden here, too, okay? There could be fighting here, too, but I feel like there's a struggle here. Yeah. There could have been games. Somebody could be playing games. And I'm going to be going over to Vimeo, Virgo, to talk about the challenge, what they're hiding, what they're fearing, and their true intentions with you, okay, in love. And um, if you guys want to see all the extendeds, they're just $8.99. If you guys need a reading... You can get one for 25 and you can get two for 40 uh, mix and match, whatever you guys like, okay? And thank you so much, Virgo, and wishing you so much power and light.